In the previous chapter, that's chapter 3, we were or we talked about the verbs in detail, the types, whether they are uh, main or uh, auxiliary, their negation, their state, whatever, everything. In this chapter, we are going to uh, uh, speak about the uh, noun or the noun phrase. So, uh, if you remember, we said uh, we have certain positions in the sentence that can be occupied by what? By the noun. Means either we use them in the subject or I, uh, in, the, in the object or we use them in the complement or we co use them in the subject complement uh, or let's say object complement. In, in, in case of the subject, could be, uh, I mean, the first object. Uh, indirect then the indirect so these are the position that can occupy uh, in the sentence and if we say a noun it doesn't mean a man to have just one word for example if we say the man is the here we use the man as one word and we can use it as a phrase to say the old man and we say is there so we extend or we added another element to what to the verb so we say the old man and we can say the old rich man so all these what stays where in the subject position or we'd say for example the say the man over there is rich see what do we have the man over there is rich now we modified the noun with words that come after so it is possible to modify the man the noun with elements before or to modify the noun here the man with elements that comes after so either we have just one word or we have, uh, uh, say, uh, a phrase, or even relatives. For example, we say, the man, say, the man who, say, carries, carries a, a stick is there. So, what do we have here? All this part is what is the subject. I mean, in the subject position, the man who carries a stick is there. See, this is what we call relative, relative clause. So it is possible a uh, noun modified by a relative, uh, a relative uh, uh, clause, and all this one in the subject of, in the position of the subject. Or even we can put a clause, for example, that she insulted her boss is problem problem see what do we have here we have all this part from here up to here which is what which is all this one which is a clause and if you remember we said a clause means to have a subject we have a verb we have could be complement object all the sentence element or most of them available and still all of them in the subject position if we say this is a subject and that she insulted and this is the verb and her boss this is the object nevertheless all these elements were in the position of what of the subject so all these things applicable to the object applicable to the subject complement applicable to the uh, object complement means if we have for example subject plus verb plus complement this complement could be just say uh, just a noun or could be noun with adjective could be say relative clause etc and if we have here for example subject with verb with object this object also can, since it is a noun, it is a noun, so we can extend it into just one word, into phrase, I saw the man, I saw, for example, this is a brief, 
I saw a man. So we can say, see, I saw a man. I saw a tall man. I saw a man wearing, for example, glasses. So then again, wherever we put the noun in a position, we can extend this noun into either uh, we modify before or after this word, or we can make, or we add relative close to this noun to modify, or as a complete uh, a clause in the position of the noun. And for example, here we can say, uh, we extend this object into uh, a clause. This is concerning simply a noun. Uh, hopefully, uh, inshallah, we are going next time to speak uh, about the noun in more detail, the types of the noun, the characteristic of each category, division of the noun. This is just introduction to remind you what we have taken before about the noun. Anyhow, this chapter is devoted only for the noun.